Hey everybody, thanks for coming. This is the sort of annual, not entirely annual, Lewis family event in which uh, myself and various family members gather and uh, just do what we do. There's many musical members of the Lewis extended family, um, which uh, tonight is going to be myself, Jeffrey Lewis, um, and um, my cousin Shana Lewis and her partner Matt Hunger, and uh, my uncle who goes by the name of Professor Louie, my dad Joe Lewis, brother Jack Lewis, uh, Jordan Carlos, who's like a cousin by marriage, um, and uh, um, and Joshua Saul Lewis in town from Mexico for this very event, um, and uh, R Squared, uh, Lewis by Association, um, which is uh, Rebecca and Rachel, and I'll, I'll, I'll give them all hopefully better introductions as they get on stage. Uh, the music that you were just hearing and that we'll be hearing in between people um, was by Perry Robinson, who is my cousin, and sort of all of our cousin, you know, we're, we're a little abstract on what the actual cousin, for, I, we just, I always just thought of Perry as uh, my cousin, um, and I guess uh, he um, he passed away a couple of weeks ago, and he was always a, one of the highlights of the Lewis family musical uh, events. Um, so uh, we're going to talk a little about Perry later on, and um, you'll hear some of Perry's great clarinet playing throughout the night. And since nobody ever wants to start these things, it falls on me to start. I'll do a couple of songs, and then I'm going to come back later on and do some more. This song involves the fact that uh, my brother Jack and I have often done a lot of gigs in the in the country of England. And then our, our dad, who is also here tonight, uh, is always like, England, but blech, like, isn't, don't they just have horrible food there? Blah, blah, blah. So I wrote this song. I love to see those British roads so free from advertising slogans. And I love those steering wheels that are the wrong side from my way. Each time I spot one British dog that's riding shotgun Just to be a dog in a left side seat Looks like it's driving down the highway I love green sheep fields with all edges Bound by old stone walls and hedges In the sticks, the vibe is a charming mix Of farmer punk and druid That mist's more mystic than where I'm from But on this list, the shock begins to come Is that the thing that I love most in England Just might be the food Some say Los Angeles seems strange to us And New York seems so dangerous Some say the Germans all are cold and the Peru all are rude. Yeah, there's many stereotypes that we could set to rights tonight. And the thing that I love most in England just might be the food. I love that roasted mixed root grub. I love most dinners in a pub. It's this cozy medieval tavern culture. England's just chock full of some take up as low-class crap or cruddy, but I even love a bacon bap or buddy. And I love that we're sold on the side of the road from some truck in a pull-off. I love that I'm most service stations, park it, and inside the supermarket, and Yorkshire put it with gravy too, looks sure good on forks or plates, I gotta drop a good word in this spur, a proper fish and chips with vinegar, and tikka masala's found in all the tiny towns, and that's not true in the states, some say Los Angeles seems strange to us, and New York seems so dangerous, some say the Germans all are cold, and the Parisians all are rude, yeah there's many stereotypes that we gotta fight to set to rights, and the thing that I love most in England just might be the food. In the UK and Europe, they still are lacking maple syrup. I must respect that English breakfast options crush the USA. Cause for us men who don't like eggs, a US breakfast menu begs the question, what you gonna get except for pancakes every day? So the British breakfast calf with options huge and prices half. That calf is a food institution needed in America, I say. And US trips from Queens to Fresno, chips and beans? Survey says no. Even though the Brits expect me to renounce how to correctly pronounce cafe. It's great though, don't forget it, we gotta give the Brits some credit Don't complain just cause of rain or cause the press is often crude Corroborate it if you read it, don't care what snobs have ever said it Cause the thing that I love most in England just might be the food uh, Here's a song that uh, is uh, entirely more, more local in, in, its, uh, in its focus 
I've never had a dog, but I'm not living isolatedly. Wherever I go walk, I spot a different dog awaiting me. I know I'm all the pepper, salt, and red, yellow, or platinum. Although I'd never halt or ever said hello or started patting them. Dogs of my neighborhood. Dogs of my neighborhood. I've never had a dog, but that's not quite like never knowing any. There's several city parks, like right below my window, where there's plenty. I watch them from afar when they're out walking, sniffing trouble, barking. I watch them from my car in morning, alternate side, double parking. Walking to the compost drop, I keep totals of dogs out trotting. It's got my almost top priority, the local dogs I'm spotting. They appeal to me this way, for good or poor, all my whole life. Feels more like a real neighborhood to know the local wildlife. Dogs of my neighborhood. Dogs of my neighborhood It's not like I could have my own I'd go on tour, they'd be alone But it's enough to see them roam Around the stores, around my home Plus I don't have to feed or walk them Train or take them to the vets I only have to gawk and stalk them To complete my need for pets I know I'm all the pepper salt And red, yellow, or platinum Although I'd never halt or ever said hello Or started patting them I want them from afar when they're out walking Sniffing trouble, barking I watch them from my car in morning Alternate side, double parking Dogs of my neighborhood Dogs of my neighborhood Thanks, well, the next performer is going to be uh, me and Brother Jack's dad, Joe Lewis. Um, if uh, Dad feels like getting up on the stage, i got a chair for him over here. Um, come on up. So, uh, some people might um, play a little more Perry Robinson clarinet while we're getting set up here. Uh, some people might recognize my dad, Joe, from uh, some of my comic books. Yeah. Uh, the uh, stories my dad tells feature is a, a common feature in the, the Jeffrey Lewis Fuff comic series. Hey, Jack, that's how I was saving my seat over there. Now you're going to let Cy steal my seat. Well, um, so uh, here's the, the man, the myth, the legend himself, uh, often found hanging around Thompson Square Park or other uh, favored neighborhood haunts for many decades. Uh, I'm going I'm to help him get set up with these mics here. Set up with these mics. <laughs> You can't spend what you ain't got You can't lose what you never had You can't spend what you ain't got You can't lose what you never have had No, you can't spend it You can't lend it what you never had Well, I had a real fine woman She left, ain't that sad? Yes, I had a real fine woman But she left, ain't that bad? You can't spend what you ain't got You can't lose what you never had Money in the bank, boys. I got busted. Ain't that sad? I had money in the bank. I got busted. Ain't that bad? Mm -mm, that's bad. You can't spend what you ain't got. You can't lose what you never had. Well, I had a nice little house. It burnt. Ain't that sad? It was my own fault. Hey, ain't that bad? You can't spend what you ain't got. You can't lose it. What you never had. You can't spend what you ain't got. You can't lose what you never had. You can't spend it, 
You can't land it. No, you can't. You can't spend what you ain't got. No, you can't lose mm -hmm. what you never had. Well, Muddy Waters made that song famous, and I once shook his hand with this hand <laughs> at a club called The Bottom Line a long time ago. Anybody wants to touch it, <laughs> see me later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My wife has left me And my friend can't be found You know my wife has left me And all my women have put me down I got no money in my pocket And my friend cannot be found won't you help me somebody help me somebody somebody lend me a dime help me somebody somebody loan me a dime I got to call that old time gal of mine I'm out here walking around in circles, you know I don't know what to do. It looks like it's gonna rain, I got a hole in my shoe. Help me somebody. Somebody loan me a dime. I got to call, yes I do, that old time gal of mine. What would I do? What would I do? If my wife would only come back to me. What would I do? If she would only come back to me. Well, I'd be the nicest fella she'd ever see. Uh, help me somebody. Help me somebody, somebody, loan me a dime. Oh, won't you help me somebody, somebody, loan me a dime. I got to call, yes I do, that old time gal of mine and I hope she's home. Hey, thanks. Joe Lewis, everybody. So, coming up next is going to be uh, my cousin Shana Lewis from the Brooklyn side of the Lewis family. Uh, Shana's going to be playing with uh, Matt Hunger. They work as organic farmers in upstate New York, and they've actually got um, a CSA. Well, uh, what? what there, there's a wait list. Never mind. There's a wait list. Uh, not, not like our our merchandise over here. The other members of the family. No, no wait list on our CDs. But uh, start growing organic vegetables in upstate New York, and uh, Man, people still come. Broke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, from. Uh, Organic produce to um, a fantastic electronic uh, array. They cover the entire uh, gamut here. Um, and um, I've seen Shana perform a number of times, but this ensemble is new to me, so um, we'll check them out. It's new to me, too. <laughs> 
next is we're going to return from the uh, Brooklyn branch of the Lewis family back to the Manhattan Lower East Side branch. And my own brother, Jack Lewis, is going to do a couple of songs. But it might take him a little bit to get set up. I mean, two. Um, these recordings that you're hearing are Perry playing clarinet. Uh, he was on probably countless recordings. Uh, some of the ones that I have, uh, since I'm not a huge jazz listener, I've got a couple of Perry's albums. Uh, one of the ones that I've got is this uh, 1965 record by the Henry Grimes Trio, which was on the ESP label. Um, and the, uh, the liner notes, which are written by Bernard Stolman, say um, that uh, Henry Grimes played with uh, many of the major figures in the era of free improvisation, including uh, Sonny Rollins, Cecil Taylor, and Albert Eiler, and it was inevitable that he would lead his own group. He chose Perry Robinson, a virtuoso who merits far wider recognition to pair with, and this recording reflects both of their contributions in equal measure. A more accurate title for the album would be Henry Grimes and Perry Robinson. That was the 1965 liner notes of that one. I've also got, I was looking through my record collection, and I was like, I've got these other weird out that Perry appears actually, uh, he plays on this Fugs record. Uh, um, people might know from my various Fugs tribute nights at Sidewalk, I'm a huge Fugs fan, and I was really surprised to find out that uh, Perry actually plays on a Fugs album. Um, this one from 1968. Um, this is a fantastic record that a friend of mine in Los Angeles introduced me to about 15 years ago. It's the collection of Alan Ginsberg recordings. Um, there's a few tracks on this from a session in 1971 where the musicians that were backing Alan Ginsberg were Bob Dylan on guitar or Perry Robinson on clarinet and a couple other folks. So that's another interesting gem in the discography of Perry Robinson. And uh, this is actually a fantastic book that somebody wrote about Perry Robinson. This came out in the early 2000s. It's called The Traveler, uh, which was actually an incredible page turner. When, when my band first discovered this book, we passed it around the tour vehicle and uh, everybody took turns reading it and it's uh, it's really just a great read and Perry led um, you know a really wild and interesting life uh, I was actually even considering picking out select excerpts from this book but I didn't get around to it but uh, it's findable out there in the world so um, while we listen to some more of Perry's clarinet playing and Jack gets set up here Hey everyone this is uh, very fun to be here uh, I'll just pause that for one second. I always miss these Lewis family yearly get-together shows, and they said they booked this show for last week, and I said I'm not coming in, because I live here in uh, Portland, Oregon. I'm not coming in until next week, and I said, oh, we can change the date. We can do it the following Sunday, so I'm very happy that they changed the date so I could be here to see all the family perform. I'm not sure how many I've missed, at least five or six. It's taken many a year for them to finally include me in these family events. So I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, this first song of my, I think two songs, uh, it's about living in Portland. It mentions a few, a few places in Portland. Uh, I started hosting shows in the basement of my house in Portland. In Portland, you're, some people live in houses. Um, I, I learned this when I moved out there. And uh, yeah, this is about hosting a show at my house. to the show which was cool I know but did they have to trample my flower bed and break my stuff my lavender will survive but I'm not sure about my sage those kids should really watch their step but I yes I should Garage wall. Then I can convince. 
the neighbors that I am not a bum after I am not a bum after I am not a bum after all Maybe I can convince them I'm not a bum Planted some lilies in the front to bring some color Sir.